What's going on guys? So today we're going to see both of the water dragons eating. We're currently at the feeding station so if it looks a little bit different and the cage is in the background it's because we're in a separate room. I like to bring them in the tote because it gives them a chance to escape from their cage and they don't associate me coming into the room every single time with food. I lift them up, put them in here, and then feed them directly in here. As you can see, it's just a bin from Home Depot with just a little bit of uh, paper on the side so they can't see through. Water dragons really can't understand glass, so it's good to cover up all glass and clear plastic with some kind of barrier. We also see just repti carpet on the ground so they have traction as well as the crickets have traction. But we'll talk about that more in the video. And I'm sure a lot of you wanted to see this video for a long time. So you're finally going to get a chance to see them eating. And we're just probably going to be feeding crickets today. So let's get going. So I'm putting calcium powder on crickets so that she can actually get calcium into her system. This calcium will keep her healthy. And I just shake the crickets up in a bag full of calcium to get them on. Try and pour a lot of crickets in here so that she can actually run around for them. I feel like hand feeding them in their cage also doesn't allow them to hunt their crickets, although this doesn't really allow them to hunt, but it allows them to chase after them a bit more than feeding them one by one. Water dragons rely heavily on sight when eating, and if the prey item stands still, the water dragons really can't see it that well. So you can see them waiting for the cricket to move before they strike. move over here so you can actually see her a little bit better. Oh, there you go. Oh, she got two in one there. If you notice that Yoshi's a little bit skinny is because I said in a past video she just laid eggs. So we're just trying to fatten her up a little bit. Get her back to a healthy weight.
try and put some more crickets in there. This is all I do is put them in a bag, shake them out into the bin, and she eats them. So if you're wondering why there's tape on either of the two sides, it's because I put that there to prevent the crickets from going underneath the carpeting so that they don't actually lose them and they can eat all the ones that I put in there. So she'll eat anywhere between a dozen and 14 crickets in one sitting. I throw the crickets around a little bit so that they can actually move as opposed to just sitting there. Once they become more used to the camera, I'll get more close-up video of them eating. These crickets really hop around, eh? So I know she's still hungry, but I don't want to feed her too much in one sitting because I want to get her used to eating on a regular basis. What happens when water dragons or lizards in general, once they lay eggs or start to lay eggs, they kind of stop eating. So we're just trying to make sure she can eat properly again.
So we'll move on to Rex eating now, and we'll feed him crickets too. So as you can see, Rex really likes food. Water dragon's diet mostly consists of insects. This consists of crickets, superworms. A lot of people feed dubia roaches, but in Canada, we can't get dubia roaches because they're illegal. I do feed both Rex and Yoshi mice. It's more of a snack. Rex does really like mice, so you'll see that in a future video. I could probably also put you guys inside the cage while I feed them. So we'll try that today, but I don't have very high hopes for that. He might be scared of the camera, but as you can see from his last video, he's not very scared of it whatsoever. But we'll try it anyway. So we might as well just try it now. If you guys hear a bag in the background, that's just me shaking out crickets, so sorry about that.
Let's see if he'll... Oh, we're going over here. So as you can see, they catch the cricket with their tongue. This is because they have a sticky pad on their tongue that they use to stick to the cricket and then pull it into their mouth. I don't really keep track of how much he eats because he's really active. I'm sure you can see, but this area right here, which you would consider the cheek, are actually jowls. And all of that in there is muscle, which helps them crunch food so We'll do a feeding video with superworms in future, but he loves superworms. So we'll give him a chance to just have a little snack. Because I didn't think he would eat in front of the camera. So good treat for him. A little one less cricket. No? All right. So I'll just put him back now. So I'll just go over the feeding section and we'll just go over the parts of it so you guys know for future. So we have tongs here just to help feed because if we're touching mice, don't want to be touching those. So we have food for crickets with calcium because higher calcium the better. We also have different types of vitamins. We'll do a multivitamin video in uh, in future. We also have the cricket bin that I need to clean out, so just don't mind that. And here are the superworms. I could show you one. Some people find them pretty gross. And then just some other vitamins and bins and bags of powder
All right, guys, we'll just wrap up the video here. So don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you get a notification every time I post. And we'll see you guys in the next video.